Hey, it's Dave at Bullpen Cycles, and we are at Ole, Pennsylvania. Yep, of and it's Thursday at 9.30 in the morning, setup day, and man, it's packed. It's like everybody got here yesterday. Now I had some stuff to deliver, so I got in no problem. I'm meeting with different vendors. There's $5 parking, so I think you can get in, even though it hasn't officially started. The moral of the story is, man, you gotta start early. And there's something over here. What is this? Oh my gosh. A dumped Ducati twin, an early one. With an extra frame. I wonder if the original frame got tweaked. No, it's not my truck, so I can't go in there and look at the engine number. Oh, here it is. There it is, DM eight six zero that's what you guys want to know so this is kind of haphazard because it's setup day i'm gonna miss stuff i'm gonna try to get this posted tonight if the weather holds you'll still have a day or two to get out here can't make any promises i don't know how my editing is gonna go but I'll try to cover this as thoroughly as I can and then come back if the weather's good. Laverta American Eagle. Okay, so American Eagle was a brand here and uh, it's a rebadged Laverta. They had a full model line, six grand. They're, actually, the Lavertas are highly sought after. Here's another one next to this Beezer, next to an Ikea Beezer. Uh, this is some kind of Greaves, but I don't recognize the transmission. And it's safety wired. Greaves Griffin. We'll have to ask about that. Seventy four Laverta seven fifty four thousand miles since total restoration eleven K. Sixty two Triumph six fifty toaster tank late sixties sportster. Oh, I'm getting off off the beaten track here. Fifty eight. It's the only year with that paint scheme and the round plastic badges. First year for a swing arm. 25 grand. I sold one of these in 1989 for 6,500 bucks so I could buy a new Ford truck. That's nice. What the heck is this? <laughs> I'm gonna guess Hummer, but I don't know. For sale. No other info. Look at this Beamer doing scrambles. And the toys. Oh, it's a box? Bunch of pans. Some crazy. 
I don't know, I guess that's a Cushman. I always like these Yamahas. This is a C3, they only made them a year or two. They're kind of retro being squared off like a Cushman. Here, $6,500 for a sidecar. It's amazing what they get for them now. And that's just for the car. You still got to get the mounts. Look at that crazy aftermarket pipe. Torque engineering, that's actually a big deal right now. Looks like an early lightning with monoblocks. 2700 bucks. Yeah, it's a 64 lightning rocket. Yeah. That's a pretty good price. Yeah, yeah it is. Oh no, it might be a thing. Uh, a Oh no, it's A50, so yeah. it's not. It's a Royal Star with... No, no. In, in 64 and 65, the frame numbers didn't match the engine number. But they do. 916, 916, 4, 9, they match. That's a 500. Oh, that's a 500. Yeah. 50, yeah. But I don't know if it's a Royal Star because that would have had one carb rate. I don't know right. what the 500 with twin carbs is. That's why it's 2700 bucks, but it's still worth it. Here's my Italian Harley guy. I bought some off him before. Now I don't know, because that has the later style head on it. So I'm not sure what that is, what year. It looks like early 70s, but it doesn't have the round head on it. Two little 125s, I think. How about a CL100? Nine hundred and sixty original miles. Thirty-nine ninety-five. That's a lot for a little bike, but nine hundred miles. Please help. Need oil cup, fender, muffler, and chain. Look at that. Oh, so these are all help. Some single cylinder side valve Harleys. Check out the gas light. Sport Scout, 34, 1942, 2,800 bucks. Well, back in those days, the engine was the VIN number, so you can build a bike out of that. Here's a JD. Nice original looking with the front brake, too. Ooh, I don't know if it's original or repop. Looks original. It's got a Boriani rim. It says made in Italy. So it's 
three grand. What brand is that? If I told you, I'd be lying to you. So we don't know if it's Teriani. It's not Gramica. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to try to do some digging. Oh, I see a Steen. Here's a Steen All Sport hiding. This is over whacking out. There it is. Steen All Sport either has a Fuji motor or the Hodaka motor. It's the late one with the telescopic front. And a dumped oil head. Fire company is serving dinners tonight down at the fire company. Yeah, what is this? No idea. I remember it was something. I was friends with Dan. New something. How about on the headstock? New Hudson, Birmingham. And another, some early Indian twin. How about a Hudson Essex car sign or an Excelsior B twin motor? Yale twin, Thor twin, Hulk twin. Look at this, only at Ole. You don't even see this stuff at Wasion. You will if it don't sell here. Yeah, Thor. Yale. Yale. Hope. And Pope. Rigid pan. Twenty dollars a can. Three for fifty. Harley Davidson motor oil. Chaparral for sale. Runs perfect. Thirteen grand. I'm here. Early seventies, I think. Pan, nut. Some vintage clothes. Ooh, check out this sign. Oh, this sign is awesome. Oh, it's even mounted. Wow. <laughs> Very tempting. Here's half a Marini. Is that for sale? I didn't think so. A lot of times here they're not for sale. But that's cool. Yeah, I wouldn't sell it either. So what year is it? That's near the end, isn't it? I honestly, I couldn't tell. I we'll have to call up Hermie. 81. So one and a quarter. Well, if the other one's three and a half, that's one and a quarter. Look at this bicycle with a sidecar. Motobike. Cyclone. Any helmet, twenty dollars. Fucking crash that thing. Put that. The front end was twisted on it. It's 
check this out. Oh, here's a ATC 90. Pretty clean looking one. One of those Domni Racer posters. That was Accessory Mart when they sold parts. They closed. They repopped some posters, which themselves are becoming collectible. Here's he's putting a price on his three wheeler. It's Two. Sold. Oh, it's sold. It's a full restoration. Oh no, no. no oh, okay. It's sorry. About that. Yep. Two grand. Yeah, all powder coated, all new, all new chain motor. The whole thing. Well, we know what they got at Meekum, so that's well worth it. That's neat. Man, somebody Syracuse Mile. Buddy, there's two of them in there. One's for sports and one's for a 74. Yeah, I couldn't see buying the tool, so I made my own. That's heavy duty. Yeah, it is. I have to go through these pictures later. I've got more than enough questions. Here you go. Here's a big bear. Yeah. Let's take a look at one. That's got to be his swap meet bike. The bags are bigger than the bike. I'm going to guess 69, but I'm only guessing. Look at that, it's from Florida. Daytona even, huh? 68. As off by a year. How about this? Alley Cats. Holly Hill. Check out that seat. That looks different. It's not a pogo, is it? No, it's mounted rigid. Good day, sir. Hi. My name's Andre. I appreciate your videos. I watch a lot of your videos oh. at home. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, I just don't, you know, I don't know that you don't want to be on it, so I get. You're kind. It's just me doing, you know, what I would do anyway. Yeah, but you don't see anybody else doing it, right? Yeah, I guess. With the kid, came a kid. Some air maki tanks. And these are real nice too. Yeah, those are real nice. Oh, gotta check the year. Oh, I bet you this is the same year as the other ones. Same paint scheme. That looks like original paint. We're going to guess 68. Yeah. That is a very original looking bike. And you don't often see an early top case. You see side bags, but you don't often see a top case. Yeah, you always lose your saddlebag cover. There you go. This is for inside your windshield. Yeah. Guy's supposed to meet me. He's selling stuff over in the parking lot over there. Orange and black. Well, it's the color. <laughs> then we got a golden flash. Okay, we got a duplex frame and a unit. No, it's pre unit. Sprung hub. I won't be able to guess the year. Let's see what it says. Needs? 1950. Well, that's earlier than I would have guessed. 
35,000. 42XA. That's Harley's copy of the BMW. Now, I can't say I'm an expert, but for as few as these are made, it doesn't seem bad. But that's just my first impression. So you got a Royal Enfield Bullet with a Stibe copy of a sidecar. It's probably an Indian sidecar. It's early because it's pre-unit. They don't. This is one of the Indian-made ones. It's going to be late. It's got side turn signals. That's not the company of today. I'm guessing well, it's Czech. Czechoslovakian. That means it's a Jawa. Look how the shifter is up in the front of the crankcase. If I catch a felony or something, I'm pretty old now. I can probably get it. 40 bucks. Cushman back there. That's me. Looks like a ex hippie Cushman. He's right here. Yeah. There's a KE 100 tucked over in the side. That might be his pit bike. Nineteen forty six UL. There's your phone number. Okay, last call on the breakfast. You got about five minutes. Uh -oh. Going up if you want to get some breakfast. Last call. Harley sidecar. It says 1997. It still has the tag on it. Really rare. 500 bucks. They have, you know, they have another one for the 78 and 79. That's the, the 79. You can't I've got some race posters, XR, uh, uh, CRs, and some other stuff. I bought a bunch of uh, shit down in Florida this year. And oh, you can't get yeah, you can't Look get at that. Oh, <laughs> that's. When did you ever see an XLCR parts manual? Rally. Sprint. Nineteen forty one UL big twin. Thirty eight grand. Boy, those have come up in recent years. Those flathead Harleys. Oh, I missed some stuff in here. I got sidetracked. What's this? <laughs> On uh, Wednesday, uh -huh. my son has work. Oh, it's early Penton. KTM. He was here with his pickup. Oh, yeah. Super Last of the Penton brand and KTMs. 1976. $2,200. Firm. GS model in race trim. Well, the GS would have been an Enduro. No. 
and here's a early ace. This actually, uh, there's one in Newport right now for sale for, for uh, but it's a seated game. And one of those Honda QA50s and Series 1 Rup. And a what? A drag mini bike. <laughs> what are the four lines for? I don't know what those four lines are for. It's a single carburetor. <laughs> Check out the disc brake setup. Now, can it really do wheelies? I guess if you sit far enough on the back. So I walked through here and missed that. I want to check out this sporty. Oh, I see. That's I got sidetracked by the Jawa and missed this part. That Hodaka looks a little bit like a Bitsa bike. Doesn't it have a toolbox here and an air filter, different fender? I'm thinking, but it looks nice. There's another flat twin. Some kind of side valve. I think Douglas was famous for flat twins of different orientations. Colony, OEM and custom hardware, 1911 to present day Harley Davidsons. Oh, that's cool. I don't have that badge. I'll have to get, I'll have to get my Indian going at the shop. Thirty-one. That's before they went all Art Deco. Hi, puppy. You're a good boy. Forty-six Indian Chief basket case. 17 grand, 17 grand, CB 360, $2,200. Oh, what do we got up here? Oh, it's a Greaves. Wait, is it a Greaves? Or is it an AJS? Is it a Greaves or an AJS? Oh, oh a cotton. Ah. Because this is the late Villers motor, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the early Star Maker engine. The later Star Maker engine looks like a Stormer motor. It's a different spinning on it. <laughs> so, is this. Is it one spin? Well, I'm at a loss. 
because I never had one and I don't know much about them. I just knew in the end when Greaves decided to develop their own motor, Villers had a version that Greaves didn't want to use and it got put into some other bikes. I guess that's the Star Maker engine, which if my foggy memory is correct, had some issues in the beginning. Rudge, that's English. Somebody wants that Ducati display. Oh, look at these old, these are the posters. When you ordered from Accessory Mart, you'd get these catalogs with specials in the mail. Oh my gosh. Hey, you're on TV. Now you can be as famous as me. Yes. Yep. This is Mr. Royer, folks. Mr. Cameron. And I'm withholding everything else I was going to say because we're live. Eggly. And this Eggly is uh, Eddie Fisher. We were just at his auction. Let me tell you a good story, Dave, for your listeners. Okay. This is a beautiful Rudge bicycle. Yeah, I haven't seen one that nice. It's even got the hand in the crank. Oh, yeah. The Rudge red hand badge, and it's beautiful condition. Brooks bag. And I asked Brooks him, I, I had 500 hours, and I asked him, I said, where'd you get that? He says, I bought that from you. Uh, <laughs> That's when you know you're getting old. Yeah. <laughs> We have a Rudge at home that my brother used to ride. It's pretty clapped out. To replace it with this. Look at the center stand. Right? Yeah. Nice yeah, it would. Montessa complete lighting kit. Four. The Coda. Coda. Somebody wants that. probably put on all kinds of Spanish bikes. Yeah, probably could. I mean, this is probably worth some dough right here. Probably could, and, and that's, that should be in stock at Bullpen Cycles. <laughs> How much well, is it, John? $3.50. $3.50 yeah. stock at Bullpen Cycles. It could be. It could be. Well, I ha you know me. I have to do the whole show because I have limited amounts of money. <laughs> Free beer with $20 purchase. It looks kind of like it's old beer. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, do you like those new ones that you pour half the gas on your tank of your motorcycle? Or you like these good old ones? I have tons of gas gas. I, I wondered what you were going to ask. <laughs> I mean, these were the pre Obama gas cans. Yeah. Yeah. Priceless antiques. Still functional, probably more than before. Of course, we're at a vintage bike show, so we gotta have vintage gas cans. What is this, a Weber on my Harley? Yeah, it's a two-barrel Weber. No, it's not. It's not? What is it? It's a Delordo. Okay, that's close. And it's running, look inside the air cleaner. You can glass, you can see through it. Take oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Open velocity stacks, that's a Czechoslovakian air cleaner. It's got uh, 30 over pistons, Andrews A grind cam, solid over hydraulic lifters, manly guides and valves, phase three belt drive. Like I said, Delorto dual throat and it's it's there. It does 60 in third gear. Very cool. See, they're cut out so you can put a sealed battery in there and still have it look old. So you save your old batteries so you can cut out the lead and use them as cases or you buy something like that. Another orange and black FL. Royal Enfield tank. This is probably, what year is this? Got 
66. So that's first year shovel. Buko helmets in the box. Look at that. Size three. Wow. Here we got a chippy mannequin. Yeah, hey, box. Box. Fifty four. Golden anniversary. Thirty eight point five. Seventy one XLH. So you'll notice no kicker on that. It's electric start. Superman Pogo. Oh boy. Montgomery Ward Riverside. And a Nurakar. And it's not a 450. It's like a 125. It's like a Cobra or something. And it looks like someone put a new old stock seat on it. And pretty cool. This looks interesting. I don't know if it's Bader or Cheriani. Don't know. Barani. That's a small wheel. Sixteen inch. I don't know what that would be. Excuse me. How much is this pad? Uh, I want to get at least a hundred bucks for it. Yeah, okay. I was going to put it on my flat tracker, but that's okay. Thanks. Yep. I was thinking of putting that on the back of my ERS flat tracker so I could move back off the seat when I needed to. Same reason I like the 750s too, but I went to the five yes, a lot yes, later. Yes. 14,000 miles, $3,000. There's the phone number, and there's a VJMC swap meet yes. coming up. Yep, yep, you can in have that. We have more flights. Gettysburg. Yep. I'm looking for the date August 18th, 19th, yes. and 20th. Yeah. It's uh, right between Gettysburg and uh, Dillsburg on 15. It's at the Latimer Valley. Uh, okay, I know where that is. Yep, yeah. that's got that. Race yeah, car on the pole. The hole yeah. Yep. Hey, we're all around here. Yeah. Yeah. Out there. Uh, I think this was here last year. This Enfield Indian. A couple of Speedway bikes. Uh, I, I've never seen a Harley Davidson Speedway bike, so I can't really comment on that. It certainly looks like the same JAP motor. So what do I know? There's a Moto Guzzi. Looks like he rode it here. Vincent. Probably 
probably a repeat. Pair of Indian four bangers. Here's Bruce again. Hi, Dave. Hello. No, high line boots. Who are these? High point, I think. I think they're repops. But how about a someone put fins on their Jawa sidecar and painted it with rhino paint? Now, here's an original pair of those boots. High point. Three fifty four. Twenty five hundred bucks. Vermont registration. Well, that that's no good in Florida. Couple of baby dreams. Boy, these float my boat. All right, I gotta take the call. Hang on. C11. So you Norton guys are gonna know what that is. All I know is it's a big honk and thumper. 1910. Please do not touch. So when did Harley start? 1903? 49 pan. I think 48 was first year. I think. Original 65 Bonneville. Even the tires. Dunlop. Well, you know, they actually do look, at least the back one, Dunlop K70. I thought this is weird. Two left sided monoblocks, but that's how they did it. So if you want to tickle the inside, you got to go. Oh, that's a Harley MX tank. That's for the production racer. Somebody needs that. 